You know, as a kid, I really enjoyed this little game called Pokemon. But as I grew older, I kind of stopped playing. I'm sure you, maybe you can relate. But now as an adult who wants to earn some extra income, we can play a blockchain kind of game that is similar to Pokemon called CryptoZune. Now, in this video, I'm going to dive in. I don't know CryptoZune so much, but I've heard so many things from friends and other people online to find to check it out. So here we are. Now let's dive in together. Okay, of course, to get started, you have to go to CryptoZune.io. And when we go down here, we can see that there are 147,000 total minted NFTs. Awesome. So you can also see that there are ways to earn right here where you can fight monsters, farm, breed and grow and train. There's also a nice tokenomics, a roadmap right here and the FAQ. Now, if you are interested in the if the devs are doxing or not, they will answer that for you. Because cryptocurrency has not been approved by the government in our country due to legal issues, anonymity is required for the time being. Okay, so apparently they are not going to be doxed, at least not for now. So if that's a concern for you and you want to know about the team members' identities, you're not going to find that with CryptoZune. So since I don't know how to play, we can actually read the how to play section on their website. So let's take a look owned to participate in crypto zone you must have at least one zone or items you can own in a variety of methods including purchasing on the nft marketplace purchasing eggs or purchasing from other players then play to earn perform daily quests acquire more zoom tokens yada yada and repeat so do that over again okay so let's actually get to buying my first zoom i guess i just click here buy zoom oh that's a token i don't really want to buy the token unless i have to i'm guessing you have to buy the zoom token to buy the eggs which you need to get the Zune, uh, the Zoan. So let's actually enter the app here. Okay, this brings me to the starter pack. Are you feeling lucky today? Yes, I'm quite feeling lucky. Everything you need is here. Let's build your own squad. So as you can see here, I can pay 12,000 Zunes um, and connect my MetaMask wallet for a random egg here, which will give me one random Zoan. Okay, apparently I have not enough Zune. Of course, I haven't bought any Zune tokens yet, but I can also pay in battle rewards, which I Guessing I, I'm guessing I don't have because I never really battled yet. BNB and BUSD. Well, I do have some BNB. Let's see how much it costs. 1.614 BNB. That's quite a lot. Or 781 BUSD. So if you're poor like me and you can't afford a random egg, I guess we can jump into the marketplace. Let's check out the marketplace. Okay, as you can see in the marketplace, there are quite a few Zoans. Uh, on sale and then they list their price on there right now. There's 1651 zones for sale So the price is, you can sort them right here Which would actually quite help if you're looking for a very cheap zone So let's go ahead and try sorting the price from low to high Okay guys, so it took me quite a while to find a cheap crypto zone uh, because partly because the page that I kept going to whenever I click next page it would bring me back to the first page for some reason and also because these crypto zones are actually not that ex that cheap. Uh, this is a slime, and as you can see, the price is 4,200 uh, zoan tokens. And if you calculate that, let's say 4,200 at about the price, which is like 0 0.06 for one zoan token, it's still about 252. So uh, we can actually buy that. Let's see. We gotta buy 4,200. Uh, Zoom tokens, so let's go back and buy some. We can go back to the home page and click on buy Zoom, which will lead us to, of course, Pancake Swap Finance, where we can convert some of our BNB into some Zoom tokens. So let's do that. Okay, so here I put 4,200 Zoom tokens that I need to buy, and it'll cost me about 0.54 BNB. So let's swap our tokens. Great, so we confirmed the transaction and now we're going to get some Zune tokens. Okay, well apparently I swapped it for 4,200, but my balance is only 4,116. Um, okay, something happened there. Let me go buy some more then. Okay, now that most of my BNB is gone, I have 4,214 Zune tokens. Awesome. <laughs> now we can go ahead and buy this slime. Okay, now we can approve the marketplace right here. Allow uh, allow CryptoZoon.io to spend your Zoom. Of course, we can do that. Okay, so now that I approved the marketplace, it says approve for marketplace. I thought I already approved it, but maybe I can click on it again and see what happens. Okay, apparently I'm allowing it to spend my Zoom tokens again. I'm not sure if that's an error, but we can try confirming one more time. And nothing's happened. So I've been waiting for a while and it still says approve for marketplace. 
I'm not sure how to buy this uh, Zoan, so let me just maybe refresh the page. Okay, finally. Okay, so now the buy Zoom. Oh, buy now button. It changed. Okay, so buy now. I don't know why that happened, but let's buy it now finally so I can get my little slime and we can fight some of these deadly monsters. Okay, once more I can confirm a transaction and then this will allow me to buy this Zoan. I think. Okay, so the interface changed. I guess I can send my Zoan to someone else. The deadline is 5 to 15 minutes. Um, and I can also set a sell price. So it looks like, yeah, I did get my Zoan. Let me just check. Uh, maybe I go to inventory here. I can click on my Zoans and we can see if I have it in my inventory. Woohoo! Okay, great. As you can see, I have a... <laughs> Probably the most basic zone in this entire game. If you guys ever played any like anime, like uh, RPG games or something, you probably know that slimes are like the first enemy that you'll see. And yeah, as you can see, this is rarity one, level one, and the tribe is Stonic or Stonic. So I'm guessing that's not very high. Okay, so now that we have our Zoan, let's fight against a monster and see what the fuss is all about. As you can see here, I have never claimed any rewards here because I've actually never fought. So I can choose a Zoan to fight. I've only got one, so let's use our slime to battle these deadly creatures like zombies, undead warriors, and mummies. I wonder how our slime is going to do. <laughs> Um, oh well, to be honest, the win rate is quite good for some of these, like 80%, 70%, and then this 20%, I'm not even going to try that, so... Our estimated reward says zero. Well, that's not pretty good, because I at least want some zones for my hard work here, but I guess we can try. Um, I, can, I guess I earned some XP, which is 2 to 3, and if I look at my slime here, I only need 27 XP to level up, so I guess maybe around... Um, 10 fights or so for this character and then I can gain some more XP But if I fight some of these harder characters, I win even more XP uh, Let's just go for this 70% one right here and see what happens fight the undead warrior Okay, I'll confirm the transaction here And I lost the fight so I got 1.32 XP from losing the fight So at least I actually get something instead of nothing at all uh, actually, this whole setup kind of reminds me of a game called Crypto Blades, which I reviewed a little bit earlier. Um, so, there's also four character setups, there's a win rate percent, I get rewards, so it's quite similar looking, except I prefer these graphics much better because they're animated and, and uh, look better. But then again, graphics don't really make the game or give you more money. Okay. So, um, let's just see what happens here. My latest fighting by seconds is... This one right here, 95 hours, 40 minutes, and well, the time is increasing. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but the latest fighting it says again is one minute ago. That's right, it was less than a minute ago. So let's just try another fight. Uh, this time I guess I'll go a little bit more conservative since I lost. Let's try this zombie right here, which has an 80% win rate. Okay, so I win the fight. I also got 2.5 XP, so I'm not getting any Crypto Zune. Tokens, as I know, I only have 14. That's what's left over after I bought my slime. Maybe I'll get some more rewards later after I level up my Crypto Zoom. It still says um, I'm level 1 and I have, what is that, 27.78 XP. I'm not sure. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but I have my Crypto uh, Zoan and it, the level hasn't really changed. So 27.78 XP and I'm trying to fight these warriors right here, these zombies, but I guess I just keep fighting because I haven't really seen anything happen right now. It's just the same, I'm just fighting these zombies right now. So yeah, let's just try fighting another one and wait for this transaction right here. Okay, apparently I had an error here. The transaction failed, so I'm not exactly sure what is going on. Um, yeah, so that's not a good sign. Okay, so apparently let's take a look at some of the Yaki bosses here. Apparently we can fight boss and choose four Zoans with different tribes. Uh, well, I can choose one Zoan, which is my slime. It's from the Stonic tribe. Um, and then I'm guessing I can use three more Zoans or I need three more Zoans. But we can take a look at these monsters. One is a Yaki, the Cyclop. Um, I guess, I think this is the Zoan that I need, which is rare one and rare two only. Um, because this one on the Yaki Ogre... Orge Master. I'm pretty sure that's today Ogre instead of Orge, but um, it requires at least one zone from Rare 3. So I only have a Rare 1 zone, so maybe I can fight this Cyclops guy. Um, and then it says start at 
it's 22nd of August. So it's already past the 22nd of August. Uh, and it ended already. So I guess I cannot do this, but apparently the reward was pretty high. You get 45 BNB for the Cyclops, and you pay 100, and the status is dead. He still looks quite alive to me, but I guess he's dead right now. Um, boss health, this one has a about half the health almost as this Ogre Master, or Orge Master. Um, and then the total dame. Uh, da I think that's... Should that be damage? Um, and then the damage would be higher than the boss's health. Interesting. Um, but yeah, total dame. So I guess these both are dead, even though they're apparently quite a look alive looking to me. But yeah, we missed out on that battle. Um, and then if I actually go back to the fight monster tab right here, I can see that the next time I can fight using my Zoin is 3 hours and 45 minutes. So the timer is about 4 hours to fight these monsters again. And judging from my win rate, which is, well, I guess one out of three, because one I got an error and one was not a win at all. So um, I, cl I got zero Zoans and I got, I guess, some XP. Yeah, because it says now I have 31.6 XP on my slime. So I guess I'm just leveling up my slime at this point, lay down about 4,200 Zoans. Um, but I'm not earning any zoons at the moment. I wonder when I can actually start earning zoons. If you guys know how I can actually start earning zoons with my slime, let me know in the comments because I have no idea. Remember guys, I'm just taking a first look. This is not a guide. I'm not an expert at crypto zoon at all. Um, so yeah, so we are definitely in the first stage of playing and then another four hours I can check back and battle some more. Okay, so apparently we were undergoing some maintenance. That's why I couldn't really receive any rewards from crypto zoon. However, now we've actually gone to CryptoZoon 3.0. Okay, some of the new features of CryptoZoon 3.0 is that they adjusted the amount of rewards from fight monsters to balance the game and fit the long-term strategy. So we can actually earn rewards now, which I will show you guys soon. And then when players join fight monsters with super zones, they will get an extra quantity of token X, which the team actually released to be a Yaki Gold token, which is the token X. Um, because it now has launched since this announcement right here. And now users can farm their NFTs in addition to getting the Zoom token with a very high APY. They will also give NFTs as extra incentives that consist of Proteus Stones and Zone Eggs. Awesome! But you do need $100 in LP Token X or Yak Gold, Yaki Gold Token to join. And claim rewards, they have increased the percent of rewards claimed each time to 30% for Zoom and 40% for Token X. Okay, so they did update their egg price now at almost 10,000 zoon per egg. Now, let's take a look at the game, shall we? Okay, coming back to the fight monster screen, you can see we have my amazing little slime. He's very cute and hanging out all alone by himself. Sorry, little buddy, but I don't have any money to buy you a new friend. But we can just take a look at this zone and see how it fares up against these monsters. We can use this zone and then see we have an array of monsters. They look pretty much the same as last time, but now we have a difference here. We also not only have an XP estimate, but we have a reward estimate for how much Zoom tokens that we can earn. So, which one shall we go for? The 80% win rate, 70%, 60%, or 20%? You know, I'm feeling quite degenerate right now. Let's go ahead and lose a fight. So, let's pick a 20%. Now, my MetaMask token transaction will appear, and I will definitely confirm. Okay, so I lost a fight, and I got 5.1 XP. Of course, I expected that, you know. Of course, with my luck, I always lose whenever I expected it. So now, I expect to win. You gotta have that confidence, right? So now we're feeling pretty dang confident. So, since we lost, let's pick the 70%. We're pretty confident, we're feeling good. That means we're gonna get between 66 and 112 Zoon tokens. So let's go ahead and earn our rewards like we expect, right? And once we confirm, we will see the results of the fight. Okay, you gotta be kidding me. I lost it again. <laughs> so at least I got some XP, 1.32. And you can see whenever you lose a fight, even with a tougher enemy, you will still get a higher amount of XP because you're supposed to get more XP when you win. In this case, I didn't get any. Um, so now I have to wait again. So yeah, I didn't get any rewards from these fights because I lost both of them, and I'm a pretty sad guy right now. Sorry, Slime, you must be feeling pretty bad right now. Let's also take a look at the Merger Zones tab. Okay, apparently we do need these stones, which we found in the starter pack. You might also be able to buy them elsewhere. Um, and if the merge process fails without Proteus Stone, you will lose one zone. Ooh, randomly. 
Okay, so that would be pretty bad if you actually could lose your zones right here. Um, and then you, I guess you need a stone to protect you from losing your zones if you decide to fuse them together. So yeah, that's a really neat implementation If in case you don't really want your zones. In my case, I probably don't want to hold on to my crappy slime because I don't really need it right now. And it's not really doing me good, so if I wanted to, I could just merge it. Well guys, are you feeling lucky today? That's my last question for you guys because for me, my luck with crypto soon has been not very good. Well, at least we're starting off, so, you know, starting off on a bad foot does not mean we can't recoup our losses and gain an advantage here. Hopefully, with the 3.0 update, there will be new features, and I know the team is constantly implementing new changes to accommodate these features, along with some complaints from users they're trying to fix as well. So, what do you think about CryptoZoon? Have you guys actually played CryptoZoon? Have you gotten into the system? What kind of CryptoZoons do you guys have? Or, should, I should say, CryptoZoans. Let us know in the comments and if you have any other tips. If you guys want to check out our Telegram channel, feel free to join us over on RugDoc. I will leave a link in the description below so you can join our amazing community and discuss all kinds of P2E games to your heart's content. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, stay safe and have an amazing day.